Hey, hope you're doing great today. My name is Jay and I'm adding another video to a series that I did a couple weeks ago about creating a fully custom HTML video player. So right now I decided to add another couple of buttons to that video player. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a link in the description of the video so you can start from scratch if you want to learn. But in this video, I'm adding two more buttons to that video player, a full screen button and a mute button. That way you can click mute if you want to mute and you can full screen if you want to full screen the video. So here I have, uh, so you can see what we did in that video series. We created all these controls, the um, progress bar here. You can play the video as you can see volume you can pause and play and then there's time right here so that's all we did we did it from scratch and now what i'm gonna do is adding a mute button somewhere here and then a full screen button somewhere around here this area so let's go ahead and do that so first thing i'm gonna do um here's my html this is what i have right now I have the progress bar right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap all these controls. So the play, volume, and time, I'm gonna wrap that in a new div, okay? And let's go ahead and call this um, inner player controls. All right, you can call it whatever you want. This is gonna be just for CSS and then let's put this close the div um, somewhere here. Let's save that. And as you can see, the progress bar looks good, but then all this is, um, you know, it's a little mess, but that's what I want. I'm gonna add some CSS now, but let's go ahead and let's do that first. Let's go to the CSS. All right, I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna add some new CSS here. So the first one is the inner what's called the inner player controls. I'm gonna do a width of 100% and display flex. The magic of Flexbox, safe. Now take a look at this. It looks just like, just like we had it before, but now we can add more things inside that div um, before everything was inside one div, even the um, progress bar. So now is the progress bar is individually in a different kind of place. And then we have play buttons, all this in one. So let's go ahead, let's go back to the HTML and let's add the full screen icon first. So let's go here somewhere before the, or after the play button, here's the play button. So let's go ahead and add a another button. So button, and this button, I'm gonna add a class. Um, we can call it, um, actually, this is the mute button. So we're gonna do the mute first, which is go after the play button. So let's do that first. So let's call it mute. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and there's a CSS class that I wanna use for both buttons. Let's call it, uh, I don't know, control button. Um, and this is just, you're gonna see later why I'm adding is it's just sharing some CSS, both of the buttons, okay? Now inside this button, I'm gonna add an icon and you can get an SVG, you can get whatever you want, but I'm gonna add an icon from font awesome. Um, it doesn't have to be from there, but I'm gonna just copy and paste it right here. As you can see, volume icon, let's save it and let's see how it looks. There you go. So we have this uh, button right, right here. It doesn't, it's not working. We need to add some JavaScript to make sure it works. And we need to add some CSS, make sure that it doesn't look like this because I don't like it. So let's go to the CSS right here after the inner player controls. Let's go ahead and do the mute, mute class. 
And first one we're gonna do, actually let's add the one that both of the buttons are gonna share, this control button. Okay, so um, background, we don't want background, so let's do tr transparent background. Let's do color white. And I'm sure this button has a border. I don't want any border. So both buttons, um, they're gonna have some background and some different color and some border. So we're gonna get rid of that both buttons, okay? I'm gonna save that. Here you go. Now that's a lot better, see? Now it looks like an icon that is there. We can click on it, nothing is happening yet. So the mute button, what I wanna do when you click on it, I wanna add kind of like a slash and maybe the opacity change it or something like that. So let's do this, position relative. Uh, we're gonna display flex. And we want everything centered. So if I add this little slash thing, I want it to make sure it's centered, okay? 100% center. Let's save it. It's gonna look the same, um, but later we're gonna add something to it. That way, when we click on it, it gets slashed and the opacity will change a little bit. All right, now let's go to JavaScript and let's set up that mute button. So here, a new variable, we can call it mute. It's gonna be equal to video player, query selector. This is a mute. Mute, there we go. And now we can go all the way down and let's create the actual, let's comment this, this is, this is the mute button. Um, I can go ahead and do mute at event listener, just like we did with all the other buttons. We're gonna do a click. Let's run a function. And what we're gonna do here is super simple. So HTML, the video comes with a bunch of methods, which is like functions that you can use in your advantage when you are doing things like this. So for example, if there's already a mute method that we can use. So I can do this, video dot mute. So this is true or false, okay? So what I'm gonna do is if when that button is clicked, Mute right now is false when you play the video, it's false because it's not. But when it's clicked, I wanna do this. Mute is gonna be true or false, so it's gonna be video, actually exclamation, that way is the opposite. So video dot muted. So I'm just toggling between true and false. That's all I'm doing when you click. It's checking if this is true or false. It's gonna be, okay, so it's equal to the other one. Wait, you click on it, it's false. Okay, so it's gonna be true. It's, good. it's true, okay, so it's gonna be false. That's all is happening right here. I know it looks weird if you're not used to do something like this, but that's all it's doing, okay? So I'm gonna save. And let's see if that works. Display. Hey, my name is Jay. It works. Let's click again. Yep, it's working. Now there's no way for us to know if it's muted or not. We're gonna do something about it. Uh, we can change this icon to something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna pause the video but this is already working. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna toggle a class and we can play that with some CSS. So I'm gonna say mute class list dot toggle. And here we can 
add whatever class we want. Um, I don't know, mute it. <laughs> Maybe this is a little bit, I don't know, it can be a little bit confused. It can be whatever you want, okay? I'm just gonna toggle a class. And to make sure this works, let's go ahead and click inspect. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down here. Some space here, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mute button somewhere here. Okay, here it is, here's the button. So when I click, I'm gonna add the muted class and then click again and remove the class. Let's see if that works. Let me turn off the volume. All right, I'm gonna click the button there you go you can see the mute it i'm gonna click again and it's gone and that's perfect because now i can go back to css and uh, add some css depending on if this muted uh, class is there or not so let's go ahead and do that let's go back to here let's say here mute dot muted this is what I'm saying. This can be a little bit confusing, but whatever. Um, let's do this. Opacity 0 0.5. I think that's fine. All right, let's try that and let's see if that works. Let's click and there you go. See, now we can know that it's actually muted and we go click again, working perfectly. Now what I wanna do is add some slash is something extra, I, I think it's gonna help even better that people know that it's muted. So let's go ahead and create something like this. Mute slash, and after we create this, we need to add a div to the HTML, okay? So it's gonna be position absolute Um, the width, this is the width of the line. Let's do two pixels. The height is gonna be maybe like 50%. Um, so it's gonna be half of the space that we have there. Background is gonna be white. Uh, transform, this is just to rotate the actual, we, we are creating a line rotating it, like it's just like a slash. Uh, a rotate. And let's do negative 50 degrees. And let's see if that works. Save. Actually, that's not gonna work. We need to add the HTML. <laughs> so where is our, it's right here, okay. So what I can do is here I can add the, yeah, slash diff. Is, is it slash? Yeah, slash. All right, let's save that. And here you go. We have the slash right there. It's just a little details, you know, that helps understand better. It's about user experience, right? If you help the person, you help that user to understand everything better. Um, that's the goal. So let's go ahead and go back. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say here, display none. So you're not gonna see it, the slash. So now we're gonna do this, mute. We need to add this extra class because we have display none. So we need to add display block when it is um, muted. So mute muted dot slash display block. All right, so now Let's save it. There you go. Now we're talking. Let's say, let's make sure it works. Let's play. All right, let's mute it. We can keep playing the video. It's completely muted. Let's click again. Perfect, our mute button is done. Now let's add the full screen button, which is 
so easy. It's going to take like a minute. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's go back to the HTML. I'm going to copy kind of the same thing because it's going to be the button. Where is it? This button right here, the volume. So it's going to be kind of the same thing. I'm going to put it here after the, uh, the volume. I'm going to change it to from mute to full screen. I'm going to remove the slash. We don't need that slash. That's only for volume. And I'm going to copy the icon, which is like an expand icon. Let's save it. Let's see how it looks. Here you go. All right. So this is kind of the icons that they use for the full screen. Um, remember, I'm getting it. I'm getting this from Fun Awesome. I'm going to uh, put the link in the description. If you want to use the same icons that I'm using, you don't have to. So let's go ahead to JavaScript and do the same thing. So const, let's call it full screen equals to video player, query selector and full screen. All right. I think that's it. Let me see full screen. Yep. So we're going to do this because go down here. This is a full screen button. And I'm going to do full screen dot add event listener is going to be on click an arrow function. And all I'm going to do is this video. And remember, same thing. I'm using the method that comes already with the browser and the HTML. Okay. So I, the whole HTML video API request full screen. That's it. That's, that's, that's all you need. Save. Let me close this. We don't need it. All right. Let me play the video. I'm going to just turn the volume. Actually, I can just mute. Let's mute. Play the video. I'm going to click the full screen icon. And here we go. Our video is 100% full screen. You can press here back in the this icon or escape. And you're back to it. All right. Now I want to, I want you to remember that every time you create buttons with icons, make sure they're accessible. So one thing you can do is um, you can add an area label or um, or actually add a text and hide that text. So you can do something like where's the button? Area label. This is volume. Actually, this is mute. And let's just copy and put it right here. Full screen. Full screen. Just, you know, simple details that helps uh, your website or app to be fully accessible and it helps a lot of people. All right, I think this is looking beautiful. And that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.